or 1981. Ready for some dynamite news? Then sneak a peek at what's happening with the Honda CRs for 1981. Are they red hot and radically improved? You better believe it. The new CR125R. Only a pit pass can get you closer to a work spike. A new water-cooled engine provides dramatically increased horsepower at any given RPM. Water cooling cuts down on horsepower loss, vitally important on those long motos. The aluminum radiators are mounted high in front of the fuel tank for stone and mud protection. The reed inducted works type two-stroke engine delivers over 30 horses through the six-speed close ratio transmission. Proof of Honda's total dedication to improvement, the unique ProLink rear suspension system, a breakthrough in advanced suspension technology. ProLink, for progressive linkage, delivers truly progressive spring and damping action. Light rates for small bumps, heavier rates for big bumps and jumps. And on the roughest terrain, the ProLink system keeps the rear wheel on the ground longer. New 38mm air forks with dual syntelic bushings provide a whopping 11.6 inches of wheel travel. Is the 125R radically improved and red hot? Does a duck have lips? And now, the unexpected, the 1981 water-cooled CR250R. Last year, Honda unveiled its radically new works water-cooled Prolink RC250R. Now, in less than a year, Honda has made this fantastic machine available to you as a production model. The 250R's water-cooled power plant delivers over 40 horsepower for as long as it's needed. The ProLink rear suspension delivers a giant 12 inches of travel and features four-way adjustable rebound damping. The 41 millimeter leading axle air forks have 12 inches of travel and feature a new lightweight double leading shoe brake assembly. Honda CR125R and CR250R. Performance tested, performance proven. Both feature a new semi-double cradle frame, which makes room for a tucked-in exhaust pipe. All CR models have redesigned number plates to meet AMA requirements. Are they red hot and radically improved? Does a bear live in the woods? I'm Chuck Sun, team rider for Honda. This year I won the US 500 National Championship Series aboard a Works RC500, prototype to this CR450. Riding is believing. The wait is over for the ultimate 450 motocross bike. Derived from the RC500 Works bike, Winning record includes world championships in 1979 and 80, the 1980 AMA Open Class Championships, and the 1980 Manufacturer's Trophy. The fantastic CR450R features a new big bore reed-inducted two-stroke engine, delivering high torque at all speeds, and pumps out over 50 horses at a low 6,500 RPM. The ProLink suspension with four-way adjustable damping provides an amazing 12.3 inches of rear wheel travel. 41 millimeter air forks match the rear suspension with 12 inches of travel and feature a new lightweight double leading shoe front brake assembly. For total competition handling and performance, this 1981 CR450R comes through like nothing you've ever seen before. Is the CR450R red hot and radically new? Does the sun set in the west? Never has improved performance been demonstrated so dramatically. Without a doubt, these 1981 CRs are number one. Coming straight.
straight at you and heading for new records, the totally redesigned 1981 XRs. New chassis and refined engines. All three XRs this year feature the new ProLink rear suspension system and large diameter air assisted front forks. All feature new style fenders for more mud protection and a new style gas tank and redesigned seat for added comfort. Each of these great XRs incorporates Honda's most advanced engineering derived from years of experience in the enduro field. The exciting XR250R with its dependable big bore four-stroke engine to power it over the toughest terrain. The ProLink rear suspension system with four-way adjustable rebound damping delivers 10.2 inches of wheel travel, while forward, the large 37 millimeter air forks provide 10 inches of travel. The diamond configuration frame utilizes the engine as an integral member for extra rigidity and provides 12.9 inches of ground clearance. Of all the competition bikes built by Honda over the years, the new XR200R may well be the most serious enduro bike ever. For 1981, the XR200R features a new chassis with radically improved front and rear suspension. Up front, the 200R features large air-assisted leading axle front forks, while the unique ProLink rear suspension system transfers more power to the ground over the roughest terrain. Performance and handling have made the XR's leaders on the trail year after year. And this bike is always ready to go, and it doesn't care where. Maneuverability and agility. Just what you need when you've got winning on your mind. Attack even king-sized obstacles with complete confidence, knowing that there are over 13 inches of ground clearance. The XR200R for 1981. An unbeatable combination of new lightweight handling and four-stroke power. XR200R and 250R. All of Honda's four-stroke technology and engineering, with Honda's proven reputation for reliability, means two all-out, mindset on winning enduro machines. But there's more, much more. There's the incredible XR500R that eats hill climbs for breakfast. The 500R engine with its pent-roof four-valve cylinder head provides power enough to leave any challenger behind. And this year, as an added convenience, there is an additional compression release on the handlebars for easy, convenient bump starting on those steep hills. The new reed valve assisted induction system prevents low speed stalls while increasing low end torque. 37 millimeter air forks with dual low friction syntallic bushings provide 10 inches of wheel travel, while the ProLink suspension system with four way adjustable rebound damping comes up with 10.2 inches of wheel travel. With the unique and exclusive ProLink suspension system, the farther the swing arm and wheel moves, the faster the shock piston moves resulting in proportionally higher spring and damping rates. And 12.9 inches of ground clearance are provided by the diamond configuration frame. More power, more suspension, more of what a rider needs and has to have to keep up his winning ways. The Enduro Trail is all yours when you open up the new 1981 XR500R. This year, Honda again leads the way to number one.